Here, hold that. Hey everybody, Galusia here, and today I'm going to be bringing you another Call of Duty Zombies. And, but today we're going to be doing another challenge. And today's challenge is brought to us by a viewer. So this is my first viewer suggested challenge. And uh, I want to make sure that I get it right. So we're going to actually have to, we're going to have to pause the action here in a second so that I can really read through it. Wow, I just whiffed a lot of shots there. Hey, I got my corrosion camo. Nice. Oh, God, get away. Yeah, the key to today, besides doing the challenge, uh, I'm almost done getting gold camo on this. So I need to kill zombies. I need to kill 20 consecutive zombies without taking damage. And I need to get a little bit more critical kills so you're gonna see me aiming high a lot so anyway let's get into today's challenge so um we're gonna call this the loadout challenge uh which is um basically what the viewer called it so this is from super erickson so shout out to super erickson thanks for the submission and really quick if you guys want to submit make sure you like the video and comment below what you would like to see me do in the way of a challenge but so for super erickson's challenge uh basically the gist of it is that i can only use my loadout weapon it's the only weapon i can use but he actually gave me some rules of ken and ken knots which i appreciate so he says that i can buy perks i can pack a punch the loadout weapon and I can use the ammo box. I can craft and pick up lethals and tacticals. And I can use my specialist ability. So those are all really helpful. But what I can't do is I can't use the mystery box or purchase wall weapons. And I cannot craft score streaks. The score streaks added in there as like a little extra like bonus like thing that I can't do. Um, actually definitely increases the difficulty of this particular challenge, like for sure. Um, it's definitely, especially in the later rounds, it's really important, I feel, to have the chopper gunner as a get out of jail free card when the S starts to hit the fan. Uh, that's definitely a super useful, you know, tactic to get out of a bad situation. But he does say that we can pretty much craft everything else. So, you know, lethals and tacticals and uh, support things, which I would include in that then um, the self revives. And since I'm doing this challenge by myself, obviously the self revive is incredibly important and useful. So I definitely feel like that, you know, can't be understated that if I. You know, well, not if I'm going to get downed at some point. When I get downed, uh, it's going to be important, in my opinion, to try to craft a self revive so that I can keep the challenge going. So, because for the challenge, he definitely said I can't do like the pack up or um, I can't do the mystery box. He didn't say anything, though, about not being able to do the. some of the easter eggs obviously i can't do like an easter egg that would like give me a gun right like i can't i can't pick up a wonder weapon of any kind but just because i can't pick up a wonder weapon doesn't mean that i can't do some sort of a challenge right so um and what i was thinking is i was i was specifically thinking about um doing the zombie dance party because the zombie dance party uh although it does typically drop a weapon but i don't have to pick that weapon up you know i can leave it on the ground so that's fine but it gives you a lot of materials you know like the crafting materials or whatever and it gives you usually like jugs 
for free, the Juggernaut perk, right? So that saves you 2,500 points. So yeah, I think I think we're definitely still going to do the zombie dance party as long as I can do it. It's obviously slightly more annoying to do it by yourself. I can't do it right away because there's this is like the beginning of the round. There's gonna be zombies everywhere, but oh 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 zigzagging. Okay, so I'm gonna at least start working on the challenge here. Oh, I think that was green. I think I'm an idiot. Look at that. It dropped the ray gun. Ugh. I knew the only downside to doing the zombie thing was that I pretty much knew that it was going to spit out either like a ray gun or the die or something super useful, and I was going to have to just leave it on the ground. This obviously makes me sad. I think the biggest thing is just not having a backup gun. So like when you have to reload, you have to reload. Like there's no option to do anything other than reloading. Okay, that was 20 for sure. Yep, there we go. Nice. That's eight times. I only need to do it two more times and I'm done with that whole string of camo. Oh, not going to get it right now. You don't have to include me talking about stuff like this, Gail. Like, I I think I really want to try to... Oh, my God. I just accidentally... I think I just... I just accidentally wasted money on them. It's like a force of habit. Like, I literally was like, oh, the mystery box. And I just... I hit the mystery box. So, I have to include this part now. I was literally going to cut this part out. Because I'm just running around getting perks. But I have to include this to show where my money went. Since my... The amount of points I lost, like, doesn't add up. Uh... I accidentally purchased the mystery box and then let it go. Yo, let's go, let's go, let's go! Freaking got it. Dude, I, when it first popped up, like, I honestly got didn't even, like, realize it. Like, I, I didn't believe what I was looking at. Hell yes, bro. I am pumped. So at this point, because of the challenge, I'm thinking the only things I can really spend material on is I'm going to make self-revives and um, repair my armor. I really don't know what else I would honestly do. Where did those stims go? I mean, obviously, I you know what? Actually, fuck it. I have a lot of materials. I'm going to make monkeys. I was going to say, like, I had five stims, and I was going to hold on to those and keep them, but... I think monkeys are probably a better use of my material at this point. Dude, I will say that this gun, when you put the barrel on it, that increases damage against um, armor. Like, it breaks off their armor pieces like crazy. No, double X. The only reason I would need more points at this point is if I get downed. And then use my self revive. Like, I'm going to need to buy back some of my perks and stuff. But beyond that, like, I'm pretty much good. Like, I, I never got dead shot, but that's because, again, like, I'm not using it a ton. Or I'm, well, I, I wouldn't be doing And I don't have it leveled, I don't think. I think that's one of the only perks I haven't maxed out yet. Oh my god, I'm down to 40 bullets. Okay. Oh my god, so much bullshit was just picked up. Holy fuck. Well, there's something else I need to spend points on is ammo. Since I only have the one gun, like, I'm definitely going to go through that ammo a lot more. And the ammo's costing me 5,000 bucks, so. Oh my god, bro. <sighs> Every time. have to get armor. There's no chance. At this point, as fast as they are and as heavy as they hit, if I don't have... If my armor is completely gone, they're going to be doing too much damage. I have to say, one thing I really like about the new zombies is the amount of time between the rounds. 
Like, I literally had enough time to run down there and get armor and run back out before they started spawning in. Like, previous Call of Duties were not that liberal with their time. I'm not getting as much of the common anymore, which is what I need to make monkeys. I'm getting a lot of the rare, because we're in the, obviously, later rounds, so... That's more of what it's dropping, which is good, because I still obviously want to save up and get legendary. But the. I think I'm going to wait until I have at least 3,500 of the common. Because I'm already, I already. I'm already down to just one monkey. I don't want to abuse it and use it unnecessarily and then find myself, like, not being able to craft it, you know? Oh, fuck me. Never mind. Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. There you go. Suck it. Oh, fuck. No! I'm alive! What the fuck? Can anyone explain it? Oh, there's an insta-kill. Okay. Actually... Feel like the round is ending? Question mark. Oh God, no way! I'm still alive. Holy crap! Oh my God, dude! Wow. Okie dokie. Legendary armor. Well, that's as good as it's gonna get. I mean, I think honestly, for the this particular challenge for the loadout challenge, because the whole like main point of it is that I can't, like I have to use my loadout gun and I'm not allowed to get another gun. Getting my loadout gun maxed out with a triple pack and legendary, I feel like that's a win in and of itself. Like, and I honestly, like in my head, I was like, look, if I make it to round 30, I feel pretty good about that. Obviously we're beyond that now. But then, like, to take it, you know, just another step farther, like, yeah, to get, like, I have all perks, still have my self drive, haven't dropped yet, knock on wood, and now my weapon is fully set up. Like, I feel like I won. I feel like no matter how far I actually technically get, like, I won. You know what I mean? Like, I'm feeling good. I don't know. I, dude, I have such a bad habit of, like, when I see a max ammo of reloading. Just because, like, always back in the day, it didn't replenish the ammo in your mag. Just your reserves. So to get the most out of it, you always had to reload. And it's just, like, such a muscle memory thing that I forget, you know, that you don't have to do it anymore. Oh, my God. This is not the best. Oh my god. Okay. 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 I get it. I get it. I get it. Where'd he go? Oh my god. I lost him in the crowd. I didn't split him before the monkey ran out, and I only had the one monkey. Awesome. So we're gonna just deal with the fact that there's a guy for the rest of this round, probably? Question mark? I don't know. Oh, balls. Oh, balls. That cleared a couple. I got him split. I got him. Oh, fuck. Yeah. Okay. It's all good. It's all good. It's all good. It's all good. It's fine. Everything's fine. It's all... F oh, my God. It's not fine. What the fuck? Why did I pick that back up instead of detonating it? Why is this not detonating? Why am I picking them back up? What is actually happening right now? Okay, I don't have jugs or armor, so I'm just so susceptible to dying right now. Thankfully, I kept stamina. Look at that. Oh my god, that one zombie hit me for 75 damage, and I only have 150 health. Two hits are going to kill me right now. Two hits are going to kill me right now. I have to get jugs. I need armor so badly. Okay. I feel slightly better. We're going to hang out right here for a second. Fuck, there's those guys. Okay. 
Okay, we reload anyway, so let's do this. Dude, what was going on with my C4? Like, I kept throwing it up, throwing it down and picking it up. Someone that, like, noticed in the comments what was happening, like, say something, because that was weird to me. Fuck. Uh, f oh, double fuck. This is not the way I wanted to go. That was one of the most intense rounds of zombies in my entire life. That was actually cracked. What am I missing? I'm missing Deadshot. That's literally it now, right? One, two, three, five, yeah, okay. So, we're gonna buy armor. We're gonna buy Deadshot. We're gonna fix that barricade. Boom. That'll save our lives someday. You never know. Legit one of the most intense rounds of zombies I've ever done. I don't know how I survived as much as I did. Okay, so we need to get monkeys and self, right? I don't know what it costs to make self. I wouldn't be surprised if it takes blue, but we do have over 500 of it now, so may not be that bad. I'm dead ass going to replace some of these barricades because if they won't spawn down here, if I'm up in the starting area, so if I end up having to run down here in a panic, having them not spawn in here... Like, or spawning in here, but, like, s delayed by the barricade for even a moment is actually kind of, like, a big deal. I like having the barricades right by that staircase fixed for that reason. Okay. Monkeys. And, yeah, it costs 250 so thankfully we can get that. Oof. Even in that situation where I used self, uh... Barely saved our lives, right? Wait, what the fuck? Oh my god, I could only afford one monkey. I clicked it twice. Thinking like, yeah, I need two monkeys. But like, I only got one. This is what I'm talking about. In the later rounds, you don't get nearly as much common. Everything drops the blue, the rare. Because they're more difficult, I guess, or whatever. But I really wanted two monkeys for obvious reasons. Yeah, it's just so much. It's just so much. Like, they shred your armor so quick, you get so fucked up. Ooh, speaking of which. Okay, we're gonna throw a monkey. Collect our thoughts here. You can definitely... St you're starting to see, even with my weapon as strong as it is, like, it lose its ability. Oh god, I'm almost dead already. Nice. You need to start utilizing the C4. You know what I mean? We got to use everything that we have at our disposal. Oh my god, I just I literally just now remembered that I need to get perks. <laughs> I think if I could pick which two perks I don't lose when I die. Uh one of them would be Jug, and the other one would be Stamina. I feel like those are the two that I need to keep me out of trouble, if I'm being honest. To get the hell out of there. Um, but then the Quick Revive isn't bad either, just because it helps me to heal faster. So when I take damage, like, you know what I mean? Like, I undo that damage really quick. Okay, we can get a monkey. Dude, I was definitely using the monkeys a little bit too much of a crutch. Not realizing, like, how little I was going to have in materials late game. Because it's all about the blue. Like, they're dropping S-tons of blue and not nearly enough common. Dude, I can't afford to not have armor right now with these guys up. That's why, fuck, there goes my armor. What? That guy just spawned in. What the fuck? Why are people spawning still? Oh my god. No, 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 no. I need to thin out those numbers a little bit. I don't want to end the round, but I just want less things smacking me. Oh my god, I found an armor plate. How fucking lucky. What the fuck? Why are there so many of you? What am I missing? 
Jugs. Of course, it's always jugs. Okay, I got one down. I feel a little bit better about my life. I'm leaving. I'm just going straight to jugs. Fuck it. I think it's the same ones every time. It looks like I'm constantly losing jugs, the weapon mod, and deadshot. And of course, deadshot's like the most pain in the ass one to go get. The only prop. Ooh, thank you. The only problem with using something like a C4, where you get an S ton of kills, like rapid as fuck, is that you then have a shit ton of zombies all spawning in, and they're gonna spawn in everywhere, right? Like right now, like how they're just spawning in in all sorts of places. So I, do, you know, because normally you can have them kited, right? But this is typically where I get down the most because they're just spawning in everywhere. So I don't have. A ton of zombies behind me they're just all around me, right that's what gets you into trouble like typically like what I was just doing there where I'm shooting into a pool of zombies like as you see your kill count go up once it goes up to like somewhere between 5 and 10 I typically like to stop and let some some of those zombies respawn right because there's a limit to how many zombies are gonna be on your screen like the game, oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god, take that. See, like, when you when you kill so many zombies that it just, like, ticks up, you know, that's a problem. They're gonna spawn in everywhere. It's good, because it's clearing out a bunch of zombies, but now they're just gonna be spawning in all over the place. I feel like 5 to 10 at a time, and then you need to stop. You can damage them. You know what I mean? When you're shooting into a big group like this, like, you're damaging a lot of them without actually killing them, right? Oh, fuck me. I really wanted armor, but I really want to pick that up at the end of the round, which I can end right now. Oh, fuck you. Oh, my God. That solved my armor problem real quick. That's awesome. Well, that was just really good luck. Also, I find myself, like, having running into trouble when I have something like an insta-kill. Because it can make you super cocky. Right? How could I possibly die? I have insta-kill. But they can swarm in such large numbers. And they're so quick right now. That even with insta-kill, like, you can be down. You know what I mean? You gotta, like, you gotta, you gotta stay on top of it. You gotta stay on top. Plus, you have insta-kill. So what's happening? You're I, what I was just talking about. You're killing an S ton of zombies, and they're going to be spawning in all over the place, and that's potentially a problem. Literally no reason. Oh, look at all those freaking Ethereum crystals! I love getting to the later rounds. Oh, we're going to do some leveling up. We got to end the video with looking at the gold camo too. I'm pumped that. We did a challenge and finished the gold camo at the same video. It's awesome. Oh my god. Headless stunned zombies are attacking me. Oh man. I kind of risked it for the biscuit there to see what that power up was. And it ended up being the worst power up. Oh no. Okay. Um. Okay, we got the split. That's everything. That is literally everything. Need to get this. Oh fuck! Damn it! It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. I might have to... Oh, God, there's a lot of crawlers in my way. Oh, no! Oh, he can one-shot me with a 150 health. Yeah. Okay. Look, let's not be salty about surviving 40 rounds for that. I definitely think I could have kept going with it. But in, like, that particular situation, honestly, the thought that went through my head was immediately throw your second monkey... Just because I didn't think I could fight that late of a round of a bomber with, um, nice, I got my prestige too. This is actually a pretty good video. I'm getting a lot of stuff in it. 
But there you go. So we made it to round 41. We survived 40 rounds doing the loadout challenge. So again, thanks to Super Erickson for suggesting it. That was a lot of fun. I legitimately had uh, some of the most intense rounds of zombies ever in this video. So uh, I really, really appreciate it. And do me a favor, guys. Like I, I really had a lot of fun playing this. So show it some love. I could really use some likes. I could really use some shares. Tell a friend. Put it in your Twitter feed. Whatever you got to do. Make sure that someone that you know watches this video. Thanks, everybody. I appreciate it. And I'll see you in the next one.